how to enter a new project into the TIP database. New TIP project. The TIP number will be automatically generated once information is input. If there are any questions or the TIP ID is not generated, please contact the CMAP staff. Using the drop-down menu, select your agency. This will automatically populate the corresponding contact fields for your agency. You will notice as you type the name, it will jump to the desired agency, or you can scroll through the drop-down list. The project name field is unique to your agency and may be a name or project number. This field is optional. The next drop-down is also optional and should be used if there is another agency financially participating in the project. Please select the participating agency from the drop-down. Enter the total project costs in thousands. No special characters may be entered, such as dollar signs, decimal points, or commas. Total project costs should reflect the total cost to complete all project phases, even if they are not in the TIP or already completed. Contacts. Select whether your agency contact is primary or public. The primary contact is the person with the technical knowledge of the project. The public contact is the person that anyone with questions about the project will contact. Facility to be improved. This is where the project location information should be entered. Enter primary project location, including any marked routes, such as state route or county road numbers. Use standard abbreviations, such as RD for road or AV for avenue, and do not use periods or other punctuation marks. Location, Dan Ryan Expressway, Interstate 90, Interstate 94. Please do not duplicate information. For example, do not enter I-90-94 Dan Ryan in the location field and then put Interstate 90 in the system route numbers field. If the roadway does not have a common name, enter the marked route information once in the system route numbers field. Enter the north or west limit cross streets and applicable marked route numbers. Select county and municipality for that limit. This information is used for reporting and searching by location, as well as generating a TIP ID. This information is very important. Make sure to scroll to the top of the screen to see if your TIP ID has changed due to the information entered. Next, enter the south or east cross streets as you have entered the north or west cross streets. When a project occurs at a point, you should use only the first limit field. Other project location information. More specific information on the project may be entered here as long as it does not duplicate the information in the above fields. This includes anything that may assist in the identification of the project beyond what has been entered above. Example, to include the ramp at Armitage Avenue. Brief description. In the brief description field, you can enter any other descriptive items that may clarify the project location or work to be done. There is no need to duplicate any information provided elsewhere on the form. Work accomplished. From the drop-down, select the type of work being done on your project. Then click Add. Repeat these steps for additional work types. You may remove a work type using the minus button. If your project is adding capacity or has a not exempt work type, then you must complete the modeled project data portion of this page. A list of work types is available on the CMAP TIP website. Project financing. Funding information is entered by line item. Most projects will have multiple line items. Remember that phases must be funded in the proper order by federal fiscal year. For example, construction must come after right of way and engineering should come before construction. From the drop-downs, select the funding source for the first line item. Select the phase being funded. Select the federal fiscal year the funds will be obligated in. Enter the total cost for the line item in thousands. Do not use any special characters, such as dollar signs, commas, or decimal points. 
If the fund source is federal, you must enter an amount in the federal field for the project to be accepted. Repeat for additional line items by clicking the plus symbol. Project Segment. This optional field is used to further describe this line item, such as your agency's internal tracking number. For construction line items that include funding for construction engineering, you may enter Include Z3 in this field. Although optional, we encourage you to enter available data in the remaining four fields for each line item. Using the plus and minus buttons, you may add or remove line items to the project. Please be sure to fill in all requested fields for each line item. Modeled project data only needs to be completed if your project includes a not exempt or exempt tested work type. For a list of work types, please see the CMAP tip web page. Select the completion year of the project, the year that the project will be open to use by the public. Enter the project length in miles, if applicable. Complete either the highway or transit portion of the form. Once complete, be sure to save your project. Errors or missing required information will generate a prompt at the top of the page asking you to make additions or corrections. Error messages will appear in red. If you have any questions about the TIP database, please contact the CMAP staff at 312-454-0400.